Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. So I've successfully downloaded uh, the Unreal Engine 5.1 and one of the things, uh, the features that they talked about was path tracing improvements. And you know, I had to check this out because I'm really curious. I'm, I've done a video before that uh, focused on Octane render engine for the Unreal, uh, Unreal Engine. And uh, with Octane, you get like a uh, path tracing out of the, the bat. So right now we're in the Unreal Engine 5. And as you can see, this is uh, in lit mode right there. But if you look down here, it's uh, there is path tracing, all right? So let's take a look and see. I mean, in uh, lit mode, it looks like this. But then what about path tracing? So we go ahead and just click here. And let me actually go to the camera that I created. And let's switch to path tracing. <laughs> Guys, doesn't that look awesome? Yeah. This is lit. This is path traced. Look at that. And this time I didn't even have to do anything to add this uh, meter on like the bottom, the indicator of the progress. Uh, it seems like it's already built in. I didn't even have to go to settings. Uh, like I didn't have to go to adjust any, anything in the settings or out of the, just the gate. It seems like uh, path tracing has already been enabled. And let me know what you guys think after you use it, but let's go ahead and rotate around this uh, scene just to see. By the way, I'm using a, a 3090 card and you can see the results of that. It looks incredible. Oh my goodness. That looks beautiful. Right? Oh, it makes me <laughs> hungry. I just want to bite some of these fruits. But look at the, the nice shadows, like the bouncing of the light, like the final gathering. This is all being done right here before your eyes. Look at that. That apple looks delicious. And so let me kick out of here. Let's look at it at uh, the environment itself. And this is an apartment that I got from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. And you can see the noise is clearing out. Uh, let's go ahead and move our light. Let's uh, go back to lit mode. And let's uh, bring back, you know, see our lights. Okay, so there's my light over here. And let me move it. Let's change this to local mode. Just push it back a tiny bit. And actually let's uh, duplicate it as well and add another one on this side. So this is still in early stages of uh, the Unreal Engine 5.1. This is a preview build. And so there are some things that I'm noticing. I mean, there are some hiccups here and there, but in, again, I'm trying to light this up. So this is in lit mode and you can see how beautiful that looks, right? And actually I think what I'm gonna do so that it doesn't look too washed out is, let's go ahead and adjust this light setting over here. And let's adjust the bundle and adjust the length but right there and also do the same thing for this one all right and let's go back to our camera over here <laughs> so this is uh again this is in lit mode the mangoes look beautiful and let's go to path tracing ah <laughs> That looks uh, amazing. And you notice how the noise has cleared way faster. But again, I'm using a 3090 card, so I'm expecting that. So when the 4090 cards come out, right, I can't wait to see what kind of results, you know, we get 
with this kind of uh path tracing <laughs> um my gosh this looks amazing like realism is coming to the unreal engine in path tracing and i know you can do this in using lumen but there's something else that you mean that with path path tracing there's something that you get that is so natural you know and that's what we've always been looking for like when you're rendering with uh, either v-ray or with octane render engine uh, you are always trying to like get this kind of level but now this being able i mean i'm seeing this in the unreal engine and i'm all smiles because then i know i can render my short films if i want like that cinematic look right i'll be able to <laughs> i'll be able to render something really beautiful See how close I can get. Wow. So anyway, guys, I'm just uh, sharing some updates that I'm, I've been testing. And this is uh again the Unreal Engine, the 5.1 pre-release, uh, well the preview release rather, and that's what it looks like when you use path tracing. That is just plain beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much for joining me again. Please, I, I mean guys, please take 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 this for a ride test it but you have to free up plenty of space so this is about uh, 20 uh, gigabytes of space a little bit above 20 gigabytes so make sure that you have plenty of space and also i've noticed that it runs based when i have it running on my ssd hard drive the projects run much faster that way and i'm able to get this kind of result so i think this is going to be my thumbnail <laughs> It just looks so beautiful. So thank you for joining me again today, guys. Today is an exciting day because we get to finally use the preview release, preview one of the Unreal Engine 5.1. And they said there were improvements with path tracing. I believe it. <laughs> and you see, it's actually the support for multi-GPU rendering, light functions by instance, custom data, single layer water, decals, exponential height fog, all those things are here in the Unreal Engine 5.1 Preview 1, but uh, I'll just let you feast on that, man. Even without letting this go all the way, because it was like around here where it was uh, looking, but look at that. So I'm excited to render some like cinematics using uh, path tracing and see and compare that with uh, Lumen and see what it looks like. So thank you for, for joining me again, guys. As always, I'm, I'm always encouraging you to dare to dream big, uh, continue to use these tools to bring our you know, stories to life. But because, I mean, this is still early stages of the Unreal Engine 5.1, but my gosh, what an awesome, awesome, awesome day, you know, to finally be able to test this and see the improvements that they've added, you know, with our path tracing. It just looks amazing. Now, I, I just want to, like test a lot of other things not just fruit <laughs> i want to test all manner of things to see how well they stand up <laughs> all right thank you guys guys please stay blessed much love to each and every one of you let me know what you think in the comments in below or how much you love you know path tracing if you've used it if you're using um a different kind of graphics card i would love to hear your thoughts as well and see how well it's performing this is a 3090 card and it looks amazing thank you so much please stay blessed bye for now i'll continue to share more testing results from uh, unreal engine 5.1 bye for now